Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This time I decided to share with you something that I do sometimes, perhaps once a month, that I really love, which is feeding these little ones. Eat up! They are the rainbow lorikeets. The rainbow lorikeet is a species of parrot found in Australia. It is common along the east coast near the sea, all the way from northern Queensland to South Australia. Its habitat is rainforest, coastal bush and woodland areas. How many? Five. <laughs> Unfortunately, and despite them being so beautiful, it is also considered as a pest species in Western Australia and New Zealand after it was accidentally released into the wild. Rainbow lorikeets are amazing and entertaining animals. They are full of character. Their antics are amusing and endless. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> hey. Lorikeets can also be quite stubborn and sometimes aggressive towards other birds. As other birds like magpies approach our balcony attracted to the food, the lorikeets become very defensive. But more often than not, they manage to steal some food when the lorikeets are distracted. They usually fight for dominance when around others of the same species. This behavior is normal. It is a way of establishing who is in charge. Look at that one in the middle trying to be bigger than everyone else. With this type of behavior, it doesn't take long until some confrontation starts. We try to diversify their diets. Sometimes we give them banana, other times grapes but never any sort of artificial foods. They frequently come in pairs to our balcony and we believe they're mating couples. Males and females look identical and surgical sexting by a vet or DNA analysis of a feather are the only ways to determine the sex of an individual. After they trusted us a bit more, they brought their juvenile to our balcony and they fed them beak to beak. So we are never really quite sure what their sex is when feeding them. But some have more attitude, others are shy. Each have their own unique personality traits. Lorikeets are naturally nectar feeders. In the wild, they feed on the nectar or pollen of native flowers such as bottlebrush or grevilleas. They do this using their unique brush-like tongue. They will also feed on berries and fruits and sometimes greens. These birds are so smart, they almost behave like dogs. Whenever they see us eating outside, they come running to see if they can get some food. No, there's no more food for you. Go home. You don't like chicken. Come on. No, where are you come? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, eat your grapes. Because lorikeets have such a special diet, it is important to provide a similar diet to keep them healthy. If you want to attract them to your balcony, food and water should be given in the morning and changed again in the afternoon as the fresh food will spoil quickly and lose the vitamins and minerals. You should never try to feed them certain foods like avocados. This is extremely toxic and will cause them death. Chocolate is also toxic to birds. They cannot digest chocolate, which will lead to serious illness. And also caffeine. In any form, this is unhealthy and inappropriate. As you can see in my videos, after a few weeks of feeding them, they become quite accustomed to us and even listen to our orders. However, they are still very much wild animals and will remain this way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more.